Now, because of all of the craziness that's going on here, and so much is on stake with this new pick for the Supreme Court, we have active members of our federal government calling for violence. What the hell is that? That sounds like insurrection, dare I say, or perhaps treason. All right, everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Live from the Lair. And today we're going to be talking about the Supreme Court judge who basically dirt darted in, evacuated her meat suit, you know, basically uh, imitating a dead spider, all ate up, dead. <laughs> I know I'm making light of it, and I probably shouldn't, but I'm a grunt, and that's what we do. Now, I personally don't give two dams a fornication or a long steaming pile of dog bunk. Whether she lived or died didn't matter to me. How to partner? The Brave browser protects your privacy and gets you back in the saddle making it safe to surf the web again ad-free. Even Vladimir Putin probably uses it. If you do choose to see ads, you get paid for your attention in cryptocurrency. If you're still using YouTube on Google Chrome, then my pet horse is laughing at you. <coughs> Don't let the stallions of Silicon Valley spy on you and mount you like a prize pony. Download Brave by clicking on the link down below. She basically had three fights with cancer. And uh, as a betting man, I would say this. Uh, she probably got the, the final two bouts of cancer from the radiation used to treat the first one. Because believe it or not, that is very common for all of those out there who are treated with radiation. Radiation is not your friend. And though it might shrink tumors and do uh, other anti-cancer things in your body. Radiation also creates cancer. So, I don't know. I think you're treating one for another. But hey, I'm not a doctor. That's just my opinion. And I highly advise anyone out there of not getting a radiation treatment, if at all possible. Now, in my opinion, she should have packed it in at the age of 75. And not 87. All right, so if she would have packed it in 13 years ago, well, we wouldn't be having the problems we're having now. There would already be somebody else sitting in that seat. And President Trump would not be able to do anything about it. That's the reality of the situation. But hey, she wanted to go the distance. I can respect that to a certain degree. She is responsible for Roe versus Wade, which is the big case that took place back in, I believe in the late 60s, early 70s, that allowed abortion to become legal and uh, safe and rare across the entire country. We all know what that's led to, right? 50, 60 years later, they're killing kids after they're born or they're just allowing them to die. They're sawing up fetuses after the age of six months, which is a viable age to survive outside the womb. And as long as they murder these children in the womb, it's perfectly okay. Well, not, not in my book. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I am not really on board with that. And uh, I think it's dishonorable. Nothing good is going to come from if, you, if they continue to do that. All right, now... Indirectly, that Roe versus Way is responsible for the feminist hellhole that the West has become. All of their craziness that they're uh, teaching our young today, which is basically to ignore science, facts, 
and reality on the ground to push forward this insane ideology which has done nothing good for women in the long run which is provable by the amount of them that are taking head meds now apparently out there there's a deathbed confession about her replacement I just have to say WTF a deathbed confession unless you're uh, confessing to some really horrible crime it's not going to be used in a court of law but our lawmakers are stating that we should honor her deathbed confession isn't that convenient so uh the hell with that biden has stated that if he's elected he's going to stack the supreme court which has been tried in the past and was frowned upon because you're basically watering down the third tier of our government which is supposed to keep the other two in balance it's called checks and balances yeah it takes a long time yes it's frustrating but that stops a lot of stupid crap from coming to the forefront which almost always happens in every single government if it goes on long enough there is no example in all of human history of any civilization not going off the rail and doing stupid crap now in the past he stated for vague for basically over 40 years that he was against stacking the supreme court and all of a sudden biden flipped his script to basically state hey if i get elected i'm packing that supreme court so this is yet another example of flip-flop biden not a fan of that i am a firm believer you say what you mean and you do what you say you don't go back on your word but hey i guess i'm a dying breed today and there aren't many men walking around sucking air like me anymore but in my opinion that's the way it should be rbg was against stacking the court and i believe there's video footage of that somewhere i saw it somewhere on youtube you guys are gonna have to look for it yourself because i don't have the link yeah so you have the woman who died on a deathbed confession which is not on videotape stating to wait for a new president to pick a replacement but she's on the record being against stacking the court hmm some people would call that a contra dick <laughs> she on <laughs> god damn it's stupid now if you go on the internet and you look around you're gonna see a democrat stating it is unconstitutional for trump to pick a replacement please show me that in writing where it specifically states that a acting president cannot pick a new replacement for the supreme court oh that's right it doesn't exist shut the hell up we have several Republican senators that have gone on the record and stated no matter who Trump picks they're going to vote against it because they're going to vote with their conscience and shocker both of these Republicans are ladies see what I'm saying here we have women using emotion to make critical decisions for 333 million people who are in the United States and a lot of times these women should be Democrats or they are Democrats and they are making decisions that put illegal aliens over US citizens because of emotion do you want that running your government because that's exactly what's happening now the Senate Mitch McConnell stated that he has the votes to slam a nominee through before the election. All right, now that kind of sounds like a backdoor deal to me. 
And uh, though I want to see a new nominee come through, but I want to see it done the right way. But in the political climate, they might have to do what they have to do. Because after the Kavanaugh fiasco, apparently, they're no longer flocking around. All right, now in the past, over here, we've pushed nominees through the system in roughly around 40 days. So it's possible that this can happen. Now, in my personal opinion, we're going to see a lot of defectors from both parties on this one. My guess is get ready for all kinds of high drama because that's what's coming down the pipe. Trump has a duty and obligation to pick a replacement for the Supreme Court, as per Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution. Now, I don't know if the Democrats are reading that or not, but that's exactly what he can do. It's in writing, and many presidents before in the past have done exactly that. Now, if you want to know the, uh, all the shit that's going on in regards to this, you're going to have to look it up because it's a long, convoluted article. And you can look at Wikipedia. <laughs> but the funny thing that I noticed when I was looking at it is over a four-hour period, all kinds of shit on that page was changing. Wow! Wikipedia is bullcrap. Now, because of all of the craziness that's going on here, and so much is on stake with this new pick for the Supreme Court. We have active members of our federal government calling for violence. What the hell is that? That sounds like insurrection, dare I say, or perhaps treason. Now I've looked at the list of all of the judges that Trump will pick from, at least it was an old list. Uh, I've been paying attention to some of the newer news articles and uh, newscasts. And apparently, the people who are at the top of this list are women. Shocker. <laughs> They're going to have a hard time uh, accusing a woman of Graping, snuggle struggling, touching the goodies without permission, but my money is on it's still going to go down because that is what we're reduced to, just saying. With all of this going on, I just have to say this, let the mud slinging begin. In fact, it hasn't ever ended. And it will continue to go on. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is me. And uh, just take all this with a grain of salt because I'm an old grunt. And what the hell do I know anyway? <laughs> I'll see you later.